Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of clarinets, cats, and coffee. Say hello. In today's video, I am going to give you guys a couple of tips for pacing yourself through trills. Uh, before we do that, I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. If you are not already a patron of my channel and you want to support my educational content every week, please click on the link below. Now, the problem with trills is that, at least that I can sometimes run into, and I think many of us, um, is that once we start trilling, it's like our brain turns off and kind of goes to mush and we forget to count and then we lose where we are and then we get out of time and then everything just comes crashing down and ah. So <clears throat> I've really thought a lot about this because uh, I've had a couple of requests to make a video about pacing oneself through trills and I'm like, hmm, I don't know how I can put this into a video. And I think, I think what I'm going to do today is really just give you something you can practice to kind of pace yourself through trilling. So um, the first thing uh, when it comes to counting through trills is you actually really have to know how many trills you're going to put in the note. Otherwise, how are you going to be able to keep track of where you are? At least that's what works well for me. So I, I make a decision early on how many trills I think I can fit into whatever the span of time is. And with some trills, I will even assign a rhythmic value to them. For example, in like Capriccio Espanol, I will trill maybe as fast as 30 second notes uh, whenever I'm holding out a long duration note. So that way I can actually, you know, just kind of count where I am and trill for the duration of the note. Um, another example in Capriccio would be uh, where I decide how many trills I'm going to put in the note uh, would be later on in the first page where you have the trill that's being slurred down to a 16th note and I can squeeze in two trills on that note and so that's what I do. And so typically what I'll do is I will decide how many trills I want to fit into the note and then I will slow it way, way down and then I will actually practice doing that rhythm at a very slow rate of speed. So then I can actually kind of internalize where I'm placing all of those trills in relation to the overall beat of the piece of music. Now, an example of how, what that looks like is And so I'll play it like a million times just to be able to pace it and then speed it up a little bit, play it a million more times and so on until you're playing it up to tempo. Now, none of that is going to do any good unless we actually have control over our fingers and our technique. So if you're one of those people who are just kind of lacking control in, in such things, that's why this is an excerpt on many auditions. It's you want, you want to show you have control over your fingers on these trills and on the 16th notes and articulation and all of that stuff. Um, but the etude that I recommend actually uh, for really honing in on your trill fingers would be the first etude in Jean Jean's Vade they make them for clarinet and I have to go get that book real quick so I'll be back. So I'm not actually going to play this whole thing for you because that's boring and you don't want to actually listen to me play all of these um, but I will play a little bit of it for you in the way that I think works really well for me and for my students um, in terms of being able to count through it and control my fingers. So 
basically every two lines I put in a repeat sign and I will play the two lines once in 4-4 four, four time, quarter note equals 60. Then I'll go back and I'll play those two lines again twice the speed, so it'll be half note equals 60. So I will demonstrate this here in a sec. Duck, 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 ready. <sighs> Already, I'm starting to feel a little bit of fatigue in my muscles here, which is good because that means I am building up more control over my fingers. And while I was doing this, just as a side note from, I don't know, a few videos back, I was very, very actively counting in my head while I was doing this, literally going one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, or 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a... Because that's the only way that I have found uh, pacing myself to, through trills actually works is when I'm actively counting in the, inside my head. So, I hope you guys find this useful and helpful. This particular etude can be really, really fun and very enjoyable if you just kind of like let yourself get into the zone and just kind of let this be, I don't know, somewhat of a, so, something like a meditative, meditative theme. It's very repetitive, but you feel good after you've played through it. So pace yourself and you know, if 60 is too fast, you can modify it. You can go 40 and do it, you know, the half speed and full speed um, at 40. Uh, so there are many ways to do this, but the main thing is you want to be able to count, you want to play evenly, and you want to know exactly how many notes you're fitting in to this entire thing and have complete control over everything. Thank you all so much for watching. I can't wait to hear you guys post. You could either post this or you could post um, an excerpt of yourself playing Capriccio Espanol. But either way, I look forward to hearing you guys on the Facebook group. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good weekend. Have a good week next week. And as always, happy practicing.